meet Luca. I'm curious if you could just tell us a little bit about how the robot works. What is up guys? We are here at the Luca AI booth here at CES 2026 and I am with the founder right here, Zhao oh, Wei. Yeah. It's so awesome to meet you and uh, I've been looking at Luca for a while and Luca is amazing. It looks awesome. I'm curious if you could just tell us a little bit about how the robot works and uh, and then we'll get to the thing that you're wearing right there because it looks pretty cool. Sure, sure. Nice to meet you, Eric. Yeah, nice uh, to nice meet you Nice to well. meet the friends here. We're actually building the physical AI OS. We're building the how to make the world to be the interface and how to make the world as prompt for a large language model. That's why we're creating the physical objects, physical devices. So for example, you see that on the world, it's the Luca has the camera which on top of the eye. It helps kids to read books. Oh, that's so cool. So it helps kids to read any books. Okay. You flip to any page, it redirects it to you. Yeah, let me bring this in a little bit. So it has the camera here. Uh, when you flip the best time story book to your kids, you flip to any page, it redirects it to the page. Okay. So anyways, you can point to the picture or the word to understand it more. So that's one of the projects we have here. And that's the top one sales companion robots in the world. We already sell almost 10 million units in the worldwide. That so is crazy. Before the large language model, it's a deep learning, it's a computer vision. But now it's a multi-modality large language model. So it's upgraded to the new version. If you look at this one, you actually just sit down on the ground, sit on the sofa on the back. Sure. You're actually having this robot to talk with you. And also instead of talking with you, you can see what you are putting on the desk, on the paper, on the ground, you can just flip to that and read it directly. That's the, pretty much the companion robot. And it will have different kinds of form factor. You have more portable one and more cute and furry one. So it's called Lulu. So it helps all the different kinds of scenario. That one, it can shake, it can vibration. It's actually a new companion for all the daily life, not only for the kids, but also for all this kind of age as a companion. You can put it on the bag as well. So it's a companion to get outside. Oh, that's awesome. So, let's see another project we yeah, have Yeah, I was going to say, I was going to ask about the thing that you're wearing so as well. Have, another one is we have that way. So that's projects we have here. So it's the wearable devices. Okay. We're trying okay. to move it from the, on the top to on the go. So that one can go outside to explore the world. For example, let me show you something interesting. Okay. So let's bring this up. I actually have the magic camera. I can make the bluey on the top, the toy alive. That is awesome. And also, I can make the puffy dogs, puffy toys alive as well. So that's what makes the this oil painting to be alive. You take picture and make it directly alive, make Mona Lisa alive as well. So that's one of the stuff we have here. And also, let's see what's going on here. We actually can make a con call with Elon. Let's make a call with Elon. Hi, Elon. Would you like to talk with me? Let's make a phone call with you. We actually now in a CES booth, we have many audience here. Let's chat with us. Yeah, let's do it. You can see the Elon is here. You have the microphone here. You can listen to the stuff here. Yep, yeah, you'll be able to And you can see the subtitles here. Oh, What's the awesome. Elon? I see the word and talk with you. You can talk with AI, talk with any agents through this device as well. Not only making the augmented reality through this device, but also you can use it like the movie Her, Samantha way, to yeah. talk with the world. You that can also wear the asset as well. That is so cool. And so kids can wear this or they can have it, I guess, just sitting on their desk as well exactly. if they want to talk to it exactly. wherever they want. We have to have the magnetic package. You can stick on any iPhone stuck as well. So, and also on the go, it's putting that way. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and it comes with the necklace thing. That's so yeah. cool. So, we actually are building the physical iOS for next generation, for generation Alpha. Oh, so, now. we okay. grew up with them. We supply all the people with like the kind of generation Alpha. So, after the Gen Z, we have the Gen Alpha. That is awesome. Joey, thank you so thank you, much man. for meeting with me. You guys got to check this robot out. It is super check cool. Check it out. I'll tell you a little bit more about it here in just a second. Thank you so much, yeah. man. You're awesome, thank you. All right, so I got back from CES yesterday and I saw a bunch of booths, but I wanna talk about, of course, the Luca robot in this video. If you wanna see any of my other CES content, please hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be posting all weekend. Now, as far as the Luca robot goes, I do have some thoughts in the pros section and the cons section with testing it out at the booth, which by the way, caveat, the Wi-Fi at CES is always so bad and you can't 
fully test out these robots in that space. So I'm gonna have to actually get my hands on Luca in the future and test it out fully. But these are my thoughts on just seeing it at the booth and seeing it interact with people. Now, as far as the pros go, it is a very cute robot. And I think that it's really cool that it promotes literacy as well as reading to kids. And to go on top of that, I also think that the language learning part of this robot is really cool. It can really help your kid learn new languages. So it's really good for bilingual households and just kids that you want to be bilingual in general. And lastly, in the pro section, I think that it is a lot less generic than a lot of just open AI modeled robots that you'll find in this space. Now, having said that, there are some cons that I kind of saw, which is that it's not really an open-ended AI toy, unless you get the little box that the CEO had on his shirt. It's also not gonna move around like, say, a robot like Luna or maybe Yonbo. It's just gonna stay in one place and its eyes move, but that's about it. So if you're looking for a really playful pet robot, probably not gonna be the robot for you. But overall, pros and cons considered, I think it's a really cool robot. And especially if you're trying to get a robot for a kid that you really want them to learn some some stuff this is gonna be a great robot for you now like I said I will be doing a full review on this robot in the near future as well as covering a bunch of the other stuff that I saw at CES which contains a bunch of super crazy robots so stay tuned for that huge shout out to the CEO for talking with me and letting me interview him at the booth earlier this week I'm Eric this is Eric's tech world where tech and adventure meet I'll see you guys in the next video peace out